Hello friends, Vault Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Studio Series Optimus Prime. Now again, please excuse my voice, I have a cold. This figure came to me from my good friend Chrome Tyranno. It is on loan for review purposes only, so I can't break it too much. And no hammers! Prime comes molded in this weird, very dark silver, dark red, and dark-ish blue. The overall look of the figure is good, but man, it is dark. Like, surprisingly dark. Head sculpt looks good. It is definitely movie Optimus Prime. I do like it. It is on a ball joint, so it can look pretty high and pretty low. Eyes are individually painted as well. A good, good head sculpt. But after 10 years, I'm kind of tired of this Prime head sculpt. The figure comes with two sword accessories that are able to be stored on his backpack and they just peg right in back there. And then you can, once you unpeg those, kind of fold the backpack up a little bit to give him a little bit more volume in the back. Each individual weapon can be placed into the fists and then wielded in robot mode. And I think the look works well. I'm glad they went with things that could be wielded in the hands or could be plugged into the arm armor or the forearm armor, so that he looks like he can really go at it. I, I like this look. I honestly do. I think that this is the best implementation of the swords that I've seen, even though having them displayed like this, they're upside down, which is just weird. A quick flip of the swords, and that looks a lot better. Head can look down that much, can look up that much, it is on a ball joint, shoulder can move 360, in and out, swivel at the upper arm, 90 degree bend at the elbow, fist is on a swivel, torso articulation, can split that much, can kick forward that much, can kick back that much, over 90 degree bend at the knee, ankle articulation in and out, forward and back. Apologies if the review seemed dark, I just noticed that the battery I had in my primary camera was out of juice, so even though it looked like it was lit up, it really wasn't. So this should be a little bit better now. So, let's go ahead and get into the transformation. Now, this transformation does feel oddly similar. It, it's weird. So, we'll go ahead and get into it. Start off with the wheels that are supposed to be folded up to the upper thigh need to be folded down into place. Take the feet, fold them up into the upper leg like that. So, what you're really doing is taking the entire lower leg, detaching it, and swiveling it up like that. And this will effectively form the back of the vehicle mode. Next, what we're going to do is take the arms, open up the forearms, and turn them around so that the underside of the forearms are kind of facing towards us. Then take the armor and fold it all the way out on this hinge, take the fists, and flip them up into this section here then take the armor, fold it out like that, and slide it underneath the extended fore or the extended fist. So effectively you create an L. We'll do that again over here. First open the forearm, turn the arm 180 degrees so the back of the elbow is facing you, flip out the rest of the, of the forearm armor, fold the fist down 90 degrees, then slide the armor underneath the wrist and fold it underneath the top of the fist. So there's the bottom of the fist and the top. And then take the entire section of the elbow and fold it up and it will peg slightly into place like so. Next, unpeg the shoulders and fold the entire chest sections together like that. Collapse the shoulders back onto the backs of the clear chest sections like that and then fold the folded up sections that we just did together until they, everything sandwiches together like this. And then the whole section will fold down across the chest and up like this. And the, the sections that we have, the forearm armor, will actually fold up and peg right into just underneath the head. So what we end up with is kind of very, very reminiscent of either a previous Optimus Prime from the movie lines or Prime 
Optimus Prime. Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime, I mean. Once these sections are clipped together, and you have to do that at the front, like that, come to the back of the figure, and then unfold what will be the front of the cab. So those will fold out, and then flip down and around, and we'll just go ahead and snap them into place. This is actually kind of hard to do, because getting everything lined up and everything snapped together correctly, things just have a tendency to pop apart, and you, your patience will be rewarded, though, once you're done. Come back to the back section again, and flip out the fuel tanks, and just flip them out and around. Actually, I think those are the air purifiers. I, I don't know what parts are what on a truck. I'm sorry. I am not a trucker. Now we can take the head and flip that around like so and snap it into place. Fold up the entire rear of the cab like that. Fold back these sections here and take these sections that are up by the shoulders and fold them back to the back of the cab and you will unpeg things as you do this so just be careful and then fold the rear of the cab down and fold the sections into place to make up the back of the cab and these bits will all line up though it is a little bit problematic so you'll end up with this big hollow section in the back that's okay it's supposed to be like that so see hollow then we could take the entire hip section, unpeg it, and fold it up. When we do that, we can then grab the wheels here and fold them forward. But first we have to undo the shoulder pads, fold them up like that. Just getting everything lined up is rather difficult. And then we can fold down the fuel tanks. These, I know, are the fuel tanks. And then when you fold them down, everything will come apart. It, they, it just will. So you just have to fold it down, hope everything pegs into place correctly. And there we go. That's the alt mode. Finally, what we can do is then take the weapons here and they will peg into the back of the alt mode like this. I'm glad that they're able to be held in the alt mode. I just think they look silly. But overall, I think the Peterbilt truck mode is cool. Transformation is a bit on the annoying side, not going to lie, but it's very reminiscent of a figure we've already had. I swear this is exactly like Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. It really feels like that. I could be wrong, though. It's been a couple of years. I like the alt mode. I think it works well. This Optimus figure is pretty darn good, and I actually like it a lot, even though the transformation is very reminiscent of another figure that I own and have reviewed. I'm not certain of that. I really have to go back and look at a couple of videos. It's, it's odd. I, I've transformed this guy a couple of times, and it feels strangely familiar, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I like it. I think it's really cool and definitely worth picking up. Size-wise, though, it's small. It is a very small figure. It's somewhere between a current Deluxe and a current Voyager. It's weird. I, I'm not sure why that size is, class is working out that way. It's not a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination. It's just oddly small. So if you've got to have another movie Prime figure in your, in your life, I would recommend picking up this one if you could find it. As I said at the beginning of the review, this is not my figure. This is a figure on loan from my good friend over on Twitter, Chrome Tyranno. I strongly suggest checking out his customs, and I'm really interested to see what he's going to do with this figure and Starscream. Thank you for watching this video review. As always, please be sure to hit that like button and give me a subscription, and let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. I'm Vault Matrix, and I will catch you next time.